Good Sunday evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Brandon Woolley tracking still some flood warnings across the viewing area over the next couple of days there from the National Weather Service in green. Specifically still the Illinois River around Tahlequah, the flood warning until Tuesday morning at 215. Now the waters have started to recede a little bit, but still in major flood stage out there around Tahlequah for early this evening. Also tracking more fog on the way overnight tonight through tomorrow morning with light winds, fairly clear skies and still the saturated ground. The perfect recipe to see that fog once again, especially by early tomorrow morning across green country and then mid to late morning that fog will lift and dissipate all over again. 60 degrees is your current temperature now in our air comfort solutions tower cam in downtown Tulsa 41% on the relative humidity that will be going up tonight with that fog developing 60 degrees the official daytime high today so far at the Tulsa Airport. Check out some of those current temperatures a little bit cooler up towards the north Coffeeville and also in Bartlesville at 56 59 in Tahlequah but easily into the lower 60s with all that sunshine around Missouri and also in Oak Mogi. Timing things out on future track clouds and precipitation. Some models tonight are suggesting we could see some increasing clouds in from the west and the chance of some very light rain sprinkles around eastern Oklahoma. You can see the development there of that green, especially around Bartlesville out towards Venita and Grove. So don't be surprised if you see some sprinkles tonight, especially after 9 or 10 o'clock and especially after midnight. A very quick moving disturbance coming through eastern Oklahoma. But then by early tomorrow morning, some areas of fog once again, but nice sunshine, especially mid to late morning and mostly sunny skies for Monday afternoon. Then the clouds start to roll in for Tuesday, starting out in the morning with increasing rain showers and some isolated thunderstorms by Tuesday afternoon. And then a more vigorous system is on the way for Wednesday, and this system could produce some severe thunderstorms. Again, that's for the middle part of the week. Stay tuned because the models will continue to refine their solutions for that storm system. Overnight lows tonight down into the 20s to right around 30 degrees again. So another chilly night on tap for us with areas of fog developing tonight through tomorrow morning. Light winds all less than about 10 miles per hour. Still well right at the freezing point of 32, 33 in Oak Mulgee and right at 30 in Sepulpa and Bristow. Some increasing clouds on the way tonight. A chance for some sprinkles, especially from Tulsa up towards the north. It should stay dry to the south of I-40 and temperatures there into the 30s. All right, so starting your day tomorrow, some areas of fog, but look at that as we go in throughout the afternoon. Temperatures from the upper 50s to the lower 60s around lunchtime and then mid to the upper 60s for mid to late afternoon. A fine Monday for us. Temperatures tomorrow, 67 in Bartlesville, 66 in Venita. South winds increasing for the afternoon between about 5 and 15. Some patchy areas of fog early in the morning that will quickly burn off mid to late morning, revealing nice sunshine, mostly sunny skies for the afternoon, and we could even touch 70 in Poto, upper 60s in Wilberton, and mid 60s around Seminole and also in Holdenville. Here's a look at your latest seven day forecast. So again, Tuesday, increasing clouds, chance for rain showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon, still into the 60s Tuesday and Wednesday. That more vigorous system is on the way for Wednesday that could produce some severe thunderstorms. Temperatures closing in on 70. Clearing skies behind that cold front on Thursday, but cooler behind the system at 57. Back on up to the 60s by Friday and sunny skies.